So let's talk about the headings, shall we? They're the MO of ISIS militants. Let's talk about the headings. Let's talk about the headings, shall we? Talk about the headings, shall we? Talk about the headings, the headings, the headings. They're the MO of ISIS militants. They're the MO, MO, MO of ISIS militants. ISIS militants, ISIS militants, ISIS, ISIS, ISIS militants, militants, militants. Now the FBI is investigating. Now the FBI is investigating. Now the FBI, 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 FBI is investigating after a woman was beheaded, 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 beheaded while working at a food distribution warehouse and now we are learning and now we are learning and now we are learning that this ISIS style of killing this ISIS style of killing ISIS style of killing ISIS 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 killing 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 ISIS killing may not be a coincidence may not be a coincidence may not be a coincidence I want to go to CNN's Martin Savage Martin Savage and Savage and Savage and Savage he is following it all for us following it all for us following it all for us so Martin we're hearing that the FBI the FBI may be called in may be called in to investigate claims that he was trying to convert people to Islam he was trying to convert people to Islam 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 Islam, Islam. Obviously, 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 there is a fear of copycat killings. There is a fear of copycat killings. There is a fear. There is a fear. There is a fear. A fear. A fear. A fear of copycat killings. Copycat. Copycat. Copycat killings. Killings. Killings by ISIS. ISIS. ISIS supporters right here. ISIS right here. ISIS right here. What can you tell us about that? Well, as you point out, ISIS itself has put out a call. ISIS itself has put out a call. ISIS has put out a call to people who may be sympathetic to their cause in these nations that have now joined the coalition to destroy ISIS, destroy ISIS, destroy, 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 destroy ISIS to launch attacks, launch attacks, launch attacks, launch attacks. So could this be something like that? There's no doubt. There's no doubt that there is that concern, and there are some red flags. Some red flags, as you point out. Yesterday, this was first reported as a workplace dispute. It was a man who had been fired, and it looked at that time like possibly this person had sought revenge by, unfortunately, attacking people where he worked. However, today we learned that M O M O M O that the first person he attacked was a woman. He not only stabbed her, stabbed her, stabbed her, but beheaded her, and beheaded her, and beheaded her. And as you point out. These days, anytime you hear that word, you think automatically of terror. Anytime you hear that word, you think automatically of terror. You think automatically of terror. Think automatically of terror. Think automatically. Think automatically. Think automatically. Terror. 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 Then on top of that, then on top of that, according to authorities, according to authorities, according to authorities, this same person who is now identified as Alton Nolan, 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 30 years old, is the suspect. Uh, that he tried to convert fellow employees at that plant before he was fired to becoming a member of the Islamic, Islamic, Islamic faith. So add those things together and people are starting to say, wait a minute here, maybe this was something inspired or maybe in some way he was sympathetic to the terrorist causes. That's why the local police have called in the FBI. The FBI now would be looking at this man's social footprint, social footprint on social media, social media, in other words, trying to find out, you know, what websites or with whom was he communicating. Was he actually getting orders from somewhere, or was he merely finding these videos that are readily available, videos that are readily available, videos that are readily available, readily available out there, and finding that he liked what he was hearing from ISIS? We don't know. It's still being investigated. But in the heartland of America, it is sending shockwaves across the rest of the country. It is sending shockwaves. It is sending shockwaves, 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 shockwaves across the rest of the country. I have to ask you, but you know, it, it, in the beginning, when the beheadings started, we, and we heard about all the ISIS recruits that were possibly coming from the United States, there were certain things in their background, certain things in their background, certain things in their background, maybe the regions in the world where they originally uh, are, they had ties to. Is there anything in this man's background that would lend to this sort of activ activity? From what we are hearing, and I got to warn you, this has only just begun. I got to warn you. I got to warn you. To warn you. To warn you. To warn you. This has only just begun. 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 The investigation, literally today, so it's going to take some days. But it, it seems that at least on the federal level, they are looking at this as if it's possibly a lone wolf, possibly a lone wolf, possibly a lone wolf, a lone wolf, a lone wolf, lone wolf. In other words, mm -hmm. someone inspired by ISIS, but not necessarily a card-carrying member, not necessarily somebody who was flown to the United States or directed to come here to carry out an assault. It's really way too early. They are just starting to follow the threads, Don.